Good morning, guys. What's going on? Got Alyssa with me this morning. We we're gonna target snip this morning, but we're gonna do it a little different way. You know, in my video yesterday, I was talking about how I got these new live target swim baits that are really sick. They're very, very cool baits. So focus right there. And you know, I lost one yesterday, as you guys saw. I got broken off by a decent sized snook. So I went and picked up two more. One is a uh, striped mullet pattern right there. And then the other is a silver mullet, like that. And so, it was really interesting, you know, I was throwing it yesterday, and I'm just ripping it right across that dock line pretty quick. And these work really well as a wake bait. And I really have never tried to throw wake baits for a snook early in the morning, but I think I'm gonna try it today and see how it works. Because I think these can be very, very deadly, you know, work almost right along the surface, just pushing off a big little head wake. That was a big little head wake, never mind. But I think these should work well, but we're gonna target them around walls and docks, but I think they're gonna be excel at throwing them parallel to a dock line and ripping them right along the dock line. So I'm gonna tie up with the silver pattern. Alyssa's gonna tie up the black pattern, I believe. We're gonna see if we can catch some big snook this morning. I would like to. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. She's ready. Game time. I bet a tarpon would munch one of these things if you were to sight cast onto one. Oh, like that. Is that a turkey? I don't know what I just took. That must be a jack. Gosh, that really threw me off guard. It's gotta be a jack. It's shaking its head like a maniac. Yeah, it's just a jack. How, how too perfect would that have been if that was actually a tarpon that just smacked that? first fish of the morning right there not the uh, targeted species but that at least tells me that this bait works hopefully you know that was too funny where i'm talking about a tarpon would just inhale one of these and i get hammered and i was so hoping that would be a tarpon but you know that's all right that's just a little jack but first fish of the morning move on hopefully get on some snook oh god what the heck was that dude Dude, what just happened? Oh my gosh. It, it's gotta be a jack, I think. <laughs> that gave me a heart attack. It's just gotta be a big jack, right? I think it is. That's why you reel all the way to the boat, because I was literally just about to pull that out of the water. It's not even that big. You just hit it like he's 400 pounds. I thought I had a Goliath grouper come up. God, talking about head shaking. He's not even big. Why is he so strong? There you go. Okay. <laughs> well, whatever. All right. Well, decent sized jack. I thought that was a big snook at first when it ate, but it's all right. Oh. Oh. It's coming out the boat so fast. It's just a little jack. It's fine. You can pick up yours up and throw and see if you want to double up. Gosh. I thought it was a snook. I did too. It just. There's just a bunch of small jack. Throw it right up against the wall. You might hook up with one too. All right, number four or five right there. It's probably, I don't know, four, <laughs> four or five pounds as well. But I thought that was a monster fish, but I think there was just about 20 of these little guys right against the wall. Oh, snook right here. Oh my God. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. I just dropped that right in front of his face. Was that the most unreal thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I just saw the snook swimming at the boat and I just dropped the mullet right in front of his head and he just engulfed it. Oh my gosh, I'm... Ugh.
That was the coolest thing ever. Stay button, buddy. He's trying. I'm in disbelief at that right there. That that so rarely ever happens where he ate that against the boat. But that's that's like why I go so slowly on the trolling motor through the river. right in the top of the mouth. Oh, it just came off right there. Dang it, dude. That's okay. We uh, got the leader touch and he came out right there. That was just unreal. That was super cool. It would have been nice to land him, but whatever. All right, so I will say that the caught fish because we had leader touch and I literally grabbed him in the mouth. Like I literally reached down to grab him and he came unhooked. He was just hooked right in the top of the jaw and he just shook right next to the boat and I grabbed him and he swam off. It's, it's whatever, I'm really not too heartbroken about it. It wasn't a huge snook. He's probably like 28 to 30 inches. But that was just one of the most unreal things where I saw that snook swimming at the boat and I literally didn't cast, I just dropped this little mullet straight down and it was just falling down kicking and he just went whoom and slammed it and I set hook right against the boat it just that was one of those things that rarely happens like that it seems like but there's a reason I go so slow in my trolling motor you know I haven't gone over a speed of three the whole entire morning and that's why because snook you know whether it's snook tarpon redfish you know they're cruising up and down these dock lines and if you go really slow sometimes they'll swim right next to your boat and you can get a shot at them like that but that was awesome too bad we didn't really get to pull him in for a picture, but that's okay. Oh, snook right there. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it. He's, just drop yours straight down. He's sitting underneath us right now. He's not a very big one. Oh, gosh, I got caught on that pipe. It was... <laughs> me what he just came off right there <laughs> that was cool. that was really cool. i officially approve of these things right here i mean that was just insane that snook just came up and ate this off the top from underneath a dock there's a big giant wake pushing down this wall Oh, come on. Eat it, eat it. It's snook. Nice snook. Come on, come on, come on. Did you see him chasing? It is so, he shot out instantly like a rocket after it. But then halfway through, he kind of slowed down and started following it and falling off it so I let it sink, let it sink and he kind of looked at it and kind of swam the other direction. <laughs> Alyssa got her, her first fish of the day, right? Yeah. Monster city up in here. It's much easier to handle these guys when you don't have treble hooks in them. There you go, Alyssa. <laughs> All right, Alyssa and I are done for the day. You know, the whole entire day was spent just throwing these bad boys right here. And they worked, they worked well, you know. They, the action on them is unreal. They just swim perfectly straight upright. And when you start reeling them kind of fast, they'll tilt a little bit, but it still looks perfect. And, you know, the fish, they seem to like them a lot. You know, we caught, I don't know, probably like six jack on them. And then we had two snook on them as well. And right now it's kind of a a mediocre time to be throwing swim bait for snook but they're still eating them pretty well and that was i've never ex experienced something like that where i just dropped the swim bait straight down and that big nice snook ate it right against the boat that was very very cool 
you know, I'll probably, I'm going to throw a lot of these, I think, because I really like the action of them, and they skip unbelievably well. Like, you can skip these like you're throwing a DOA shrimp underneath the dock where they fly underneath it. My, my only complaint, really, about them is that, you know, after one day of using them, they're kind of falling apart. Like, you can see this one's eyes already missing in that, and the paint is chipping a little bit right there, peeling off, and they already have some tears around the hooks and stuff like that. You know, they're not super, super durable, but I think, I guess it's kind of be expected from a soft plastic, you know? It, it's hard to say because this, for me, I think was $10, and but it may only have the durability of equivalent to like a DOA shrimp where you get three a pack for $6 or whatever, you know? But I'll probably throw more. They're very, very cool. They work really well. They did work well. I, I really, really want to throw these during the summer. I think these will be unbelievable when the water warms up for snook that are suspended around docks and hanging around. That is it for today, guys. I appreciate you. If you're interested, start throwing some swim baits. They're cool, you know. I'm a fan of these. You know, I have a lot of different swim baits I like. You know, find what works for you. Brand specific, doesn't really matter. This is made by Live Target. I'll put the name in the description and all that. But today was a fun day. I appreciate you guys. Until next time.